Daughter of King Ptolemy XII Alites, Cleopatra was destined to become the last queen of the Macedonian dynasty that ruled Egypt, between the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BCE and its annexation by Rome in 30 BCE. The line had been founded by Alexander's general Ptolemy, who became King Ptolemy Isoter of Egypt. Cleopatra was of Macedonian descent and had little, if any, Egyptian blood, although the classical author Plutarch wrote that she alone of her house took the trouble to learn Egyptian and, for political reasons, styled herself as the new Isis, a title that distinguished her from the earlier Ptolemaic queen Cleopatra III, who had also claimed to be the living embodiment of the goddess Isis. Coin portraits of Cleopatra show a countenance alive rather than beautiful, with a sensitive mouth, firm chin, liquid eyes, broad forehead, and prominent nose. When Ptolemy XII died in 51 BCE, the throne passed to his young son, Ptolemy XIII, and daughter, Cleopatra VII. It is likely, but not proven, that the two married soon after their father's death. The 18-year-old Cleopatra, older than her brother, by about eight years, became the dominant ruler. Evidence shows that the first decree in which Ptolemy's name precedes Cleopatra's was in October of 50 BCE. Soon after, Cleopatra was forced to flee Egypt for Syria where she raised an army and in 48 BCE returned to face her brother at Pelusium. On Egypt's eastern border The murder of the Roman general Pompey, who had sought refuge from Ptolemy XIII at Pelusium, and the arrival of Julius Caesar, brought temporary peace. Cleopatra realized that she needed Roman support, or, more specifically, Caesar's support, if she was to regain her throne. Each was determined to use the other. Caesar sought money for repayment of the debts incurred by Cleopatra's father, Alites, as he struggled to retain his throne. Cleopatra was determined to keep her throne and, if possible, to restore the glories of the first Ptolemies and recover as much as possible of their dominions which had included southern Syria and Palestine. Caesar and Cleopatra became lovers and spent the winter besieged in Alexandria. Roman reinforcements arrived the following spring, and Ptolemy XIII fled and drowned in the Nile. Cleopatra, now married to her brother Ptolemy XIV, was restored to her throne. In June 47 BCE, she gave birth to Ptolemy Caesar, known to the people of Alexandria as Caesar Ion, or Little Caesar. Whether Caesar was the father of Caesar Ion, as his name implies, cannot now be known. It took Caesar two years to extinguish the last flames of Pompeian opposition. As soon as he returned to Rome, in 46 BCE, he celebrated a four day triumph the ceremonial in honor of a general after his victory over a foreign enemy, in which Arsino, Cleopatra's younger and hostile sister, was paraded. Cleopatra paid at least one state visit to Rome, accompanied by her husband brother and son. She was accommodated in Caesar's private villa beyond the Tiber River and may have been present to witness the dedication of a golden statue of herself in the temple of Venus Genetrix. The ancestress of the Julian family, to which Caesar, belonged. Cleopatra was in Rome when Caesar was murdered in 44 BCE.